when a child is charged with an adult, then it doesn't need to go to the court for children. It goes to the normal criminal courts and in a murder case, it will be mentioned first in the magistrate's court and then it will be transferred to the high court where a plea is taken. And normally if it's a capital, punish, uh, capital case, it's always not guilty and then the court will fix it for trial. What about children or minors who are charged? Go, they go to the court for children and then the court for children will then um, transfer the case to the High Court. Also the same, it, it's just that um, the, the, the process doesn't, doesn't have this complication of mixing it with an adult. There will be a pardon that can be applied for and then the normal process will apply, so it's up to the pardons board. The problem and challenge in Malaysia is that the trials or the law is handled in such a way that it's very adult focused because we, we don't have many cases where children are brought for capital cases. So le legal reform needs to take place definitely in terms of improving the Child Act, complying with a lot of the international obligations under the Convention on the Rights of the Child. We signed up to the Convention on the Rights of the Child but we have not implemented most of it. And then this legal companion or this legal child advocate system is not advanced. So you can apply for it under Bureau Bantuan Guaman or you can even apply for it through lawyers to act for the child, just to advise the child, not to defend the child against the charge, but to advise and help the child. For example, if the proceedings are taking too long or they want a break and, or they don't understand what's going on, or if they are on the stand to give evidence, for example, the way the questioning happens. So all these issues in Malaysia are still unexplored and it's still up for legal reform and it also needs more judicial training. I think we, we need to train the judges a bit more. The second part, the judge has a lot of discretion, but the judge cannot be forced to do things if they are not in the law. So the judge has the discretion to black out the names, black out the identity, ask that the handcuffs not even be put on when they're taken, uh, ensure segregation if they don't, they're not given bail uh, from adults, if they are kept in homes or prison. And the big issue really is bail. So bail is normally given in exceptional circumstances if the accused person is infirm, is a child, pregnant woman, but very rare circumstances and there needs to be good evidence as to how and why bail should be given. So before bail is given and before that is considered, then the judge should ask for a probation report. So JKM should be asked to interview the child, interview the family and come up with a probation report to decide whether bail should be given and whether if bail is given, it's in the best interest of the child.